today we're going to be mixing bottle jump bands with the Arun indicator, so let's get straight to it. Hi Trader Devs and welcome back to my channel where I find trading strategies on YouTube and on the web. I then use code to debunk the bad ones and find the good ones. Today we're going to be using the Arun indicator to find a good trend and also we're going to be using the Bollinger Band. Now everybody knows the Bollinger Band as starter traders right the way through to confirm traders. It's something that's used quite often for trading but we all know the downfalls of Bollinger Bands as we get into the lower band for instance and we're looking to take a long we could be actually catching a knife as they call it as the bit the actual trade goes down towards the floor okay but what we're going to do today is to try using another indicator for a bit more confluence to improve this strategy so i suggest that we get straight over to my computer and have a look at that before we move over to my computer if i could just ask you to smash that thumbs up button so that i could uh, destroy the youtube algorithm and it helps me to get a bit more uh, views to this video it helps a lot if you don't mind and if this kind of uh, information does interest you why not subscribe at the same time and come and join me down in discord the links are in the description so let's get over to my computer okay here we are on my computer as always i generally go to a plain chart but as you can see i already have the indicators on don't worry i will show you what they are in a second normally i also give credit where credit is due but this one actually comes from a member of our discord channel so i'd like to thank the, everybody in the uh, discord you you guys are absolutely brilliant thank you for everything that you give me all of the help for the code etc so let's get over to the strategy right okay as i said earlier when using uh, bollinger bands we literally have to go to indicators here and type Bolling, uh, bollinger bands and you can pick one of the Bollinger bands here and then we're using a second indicator which is called the Arun indicator so literally as uh, uh, before we just literally type Arun and it's the first one here built in now the other thing that I've actually done is I've actually changed the colors of the Arun here to green and red because one is the Arun up and one is the down Right, the idea is is we're going to use uh, the uh, Bollinger Bands as always in most strategies. Uh, we're going to be using the lower bands where we break back up out from under the lower band here. Uh, we're going to look for breakouts like, just like this one here where we're going to be breaking back out of that band and breaking to the upside. Uh, so we're looking for a reversal here up on the top we're going to be the same looking for shorts we're going to be looking for that top area here and we're going to be looking to short that as it comes all the way back down now the problem with this is that for instance here we would be looking for a short and we could have shorted here we could have shorted here could have shorted here and here before actually getting all the way so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking for the Arun indicator below which will help us to get more sense to when we're actually at the top of the market. So what I'm going to do is we actually have a scale on the side here which is, let me move my big head, okay, uh, from 0 to 100%. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a line here, a virtual line. And that's going to be at 90%. Right, okay, so when we're looking for a short, we're looking for areas where there's the red line, which is the Aaron down, is above that 90%. So as you can see, that actually gives us a better entry over here. We would have had only out the whole of this up movement here, we would have only actually got in around here, which actually is almost the perfect time to start shorting. Okay, and then we're back in the areas for longing, we'll be uh, looking for around here as you can see it was the red in this where we were coming down here the red was above the 90 so we wouldn't have got in there and then we would have got in when the green was by itself over here so it would have been back up here and that's right there for the long okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and get the code for the Aaron indicator and also the uh, bollinger bands which is pretty simply done i just go here and then i go to these curly brackets here and TradingView kindly gives me the code, so I'm just gonna literally copy and paste that, and we're gonna come up with a strategy. Okay, so let's get started with that. Okay, 
Okay, I have finished the script. Here we are. This is the new strategy. And this is the code down here. Let's go through the code very, very quickly. As I said earlier, I've literally just copied and pasted the Bollinger Bands here. And then I've copied and pasted the Aruna indicator here. I've literally made a virtual line at which you can modify the heights of the lower line and the above line. And we've also added an exit line as well so that we can work out where we want to exit on a custom strategy. So what we're doing is we're looking for a cross up in the Bollinger Bands here, crossing over either with the close or the high of uh, the lower band for a long, and a the low and the or the close from the uh, from the upper band. What we're looking for is the Aaron indicator. Now the Aaron indicator has to be above the virtual line that we've created here. And also then I found that you could also use the uh, the down indicator uh, to be on a lower uh, line. And that's about it really. Then you have the if else statement as always part of the boilerplate which works out when we're going to get our entries. Okay, so let's have a look at the strategy and see whether uh, this strategy work on default settings. Okay, just before I go back into the back test results of the strategy, I just wanted to look at one point of the strategy with you before I go. Okay, the idea of this strategy is that we actually have a take profit and uh, stop loss here, but that is actually the percentage, uh, maximum percentage. We actually take profit as we go, as I said, in back into the uh, Bollinger Band, which is a bit different to my other strategies, or uh, the uh, using the uh, indicator down here, the Aaron indicator. So if the Aaron indicator and the Bollinger Bands reverse, we will actually take profit a bit earlier. Okay, here are the back test results on default settings. So I'm on a 15 minute uh, time frame on Ethereum against USDT. And we have a 58.51 win rate, which is quite good on a default settings because in general we can improve on that. We have a 42.97% net profit and that is on 240 trades. That's quite a few trades, uh, quite a good scalping uh, strategy and that is since uh, March this year so uh, about six months okay uh, so it's quite a few trades uh, like I said with the last video the only problem with this kind of strategy for me personally is that you aren't you can't uh, fix the uh, profit and what well, you can but there's a maximum stop loss but the uh, you don't see what the profit is going to be the risk to reward ratio in advance which I prefer so we can actually, as I said, improve on this by maybe changing the length of the BB. If I change that to maybe 25, that might increase the win rate. That's actually taking it down. But of course, we don't want to overfit this. We want this to fit to as many pair currency pairs as possible. So we wouldn't want to overfit. Okay, so I'm going to leave that one with you. Okay, Trader Devs, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go back over to my Discord where I'm going to try and optimize this strategy a bit more. You're welcome to join me. Links down in the description. Next week on Monday, I'm going to try and do another video about this uh, strategy and how I would connect it to uh, three commas. The reason being is, is it's quite a good bot on the for the long game positions. Anybody who knows uh, three commas will know that they actually already have a uh, Bollinger Band strategy in there. But this just helps us, as I said, stopping Gus from catching a knife as it falls and actually getting in at the bottom so that the strategy is better, more optimized. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the videos. As I said, keep safe, keep coding. Don't forget to join me on Discord. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on Monday. Have a great day, guys. Bye. And have a nice weekend. Bye.